Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution here. I'm here with part 3 of my full customization tutorial for the HTC My Touch 4G. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install a custom ROM of your choice, and but for these purposes, I'm going to be demoing on the Cyanogen Mod ROM, which is pretty cool. And also in part 4, I'll show you how to theme your phone so you can make it look like this, or perhaps something else. But first, let me show you around um, the phone that you'll be getting or you'll be uh, customizing so you can you can get a feel of what you're getting into so first of all you notice everything's different blah 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 you look at the status bar you have the new Wi-Fi um, Bluetooth and GPS um, toggles that you can have and this theme is called Dark Froyo I downloaded it from this site it's JD Dark Knight site so take a look. One thing I really like about the Cyanogen mod is when I go add a widget, say I want power control. All right, we can like choose all these and stuff. Okay, say okay. I can choose the widget size. So let me focus in here so you can see that I can change if I want it to be like three by one or two by one. It's really small, it's ridiculous, so if I hold, I can um, make it larger or smaller. Anyways, so I don't bore you on any further, let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is go to the Android Market. And you want to go ahead and search and download the ROM Manager. That's the name of the application. Alright, so check out the cool keyboard. So we have, let's see, ROM Manager. Alright, just install the free one, that's fine. The whole purpose is to install the Clockwork mod, the recovery image. So I already have it installed, but once you do, you want to say OK. Alright, say OK. And then you just want to select Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. And I've already done it, so I'm not going to repeat this process. But once you have flashed it, you want to go ahead and exit out of that. You don't really need it for now. So, onto the ROM. You can choose any one from, I recommend XDA Developers Forums. They have pretty good ROMs. So this is the Cyanogen Mod ROM. I can include a link in the video description. So it'll basically tell you if you want to download it to go to this website. So I'm going to go ahead and give you this website and the URL in the video description instead. And then you want to read very closely to this little um, no guarantees, bypass any um, complaints message. So that applies to me too. You can read that on your own time. So what you want to do now is go down to the download link. Alright, and then I just click on the first one. Or mega upload, why not? And then download it. Alright, so I already have that downloaded. No surprise, but what you want to do next, once that's downloaded, is go ahead and plug in your phone. Alright. Put it into the computer. So you want to go to removable disk D. On your phone, you want to go to your status bar. Set this down pretty quick. And click on this, USB connected. And then you want to say turn on USB storage. It's this button right here. And you say OK. Wait for that to load and whatnot. And then 
go onto your computer and then open your folder basically what you want to do is transfer that file down onto the root of your external SD card so that file should be this one All right. Now that that's done, you can go ahead <clears throat> back on your phone, go back to that USB icon, and then say turn off. Alright, so cool. And this is optional, so I'm not going to force you to do this. But you'll notice that once you install the ROM, there'll be some of your Google apps missing, like your Android Market. So you might want to do this. Um, it's installing this Google add-on here because, you, yeah, if you want your Google apps back. So you can, I guess, download this file. It's the first one on the list up here. And once you download it, you're going to do the same thing you did with this file, and that is to put it on the root of your micro SD card. So once you have that down, both of them down, um, onto your phone, you can go ahead and plug it from the computer. And we're going to go into the recovery mode. Now, there are multiple ways to get to recovery mode, but I'm going to show you a way that would be useful in the future. Um, the first way would be just to go to your um, ROM manager and then go from the ROM manager. Let me show you where would that be. Just add a shortcut. All right, ROM manager. You go to ROM manager and then reboot into recovery mode once you flash the clockwork recovery mode. So that's one way, but in case like you break your phone or something, or something weird happens and you can't go to ROM manager, what you should do is one power off your phone. Alright, and then two. Um, at the same time, hold the power and volume down buttons. So power and volume down, three, two, one. And you should get to this white screen that looks kind of like this. So your controls, you press the volume down button once and that weird stuff comes up but then goes away. So then you press volume down again and then go to recovery. And then to select that, you press the power button again. Just wait a little bit. Alright. So once you're in, you want to go ahead and wipe data factory reset. This is really important, otherwise you get into boot loops and you don't like that. Or you won't like that because then you have to start all over. So then you select yes, use a trackpad. And you just wait. Alright, and once that's done, then you're going to go ahead and apply, or sorry, install a zip from the SD card. And of course, press select again. And then choose the zip from the SD card. And then this is everything that's on the root of your external SD card. Um, it helps if you just press the up button and you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list and lo and behold it's the update zip that we want to install so then you go ahead and press the trackpad again and scroll all the way down to yes and wait for that to boot up it may take a while so Wait at your own time. 
All right, so it looks like it's done. And let's go back. If you wanted to do the optional install the Google add-ons to get your Google Apps back, you can go back to installs it from SD card. You don't have to wipe data factory or set again. Just go ahead and install from SD card and choose zip from SD card. Go all the way down and then scroll up to the file that should be named GAPPS HDPI, that one. And then scroll all the way down and install it. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so it's good. And now what you want to do is reboot system now. Press select. And you'll notice that nothing is happening. And that is very normal. So what you want to do now is take the battery cover or the battery out. Pull it out for a little bit. Okay, and then put it back in. And then hold the power button until it powers on, and you should be good to go. Yep, it's gonna take a little while. Alright, so it looks like it's done. And you can go ahead and set up your phone. I'm skipping everything. Just so I can show you that this is a pretty cool ROM. So there you go. And you can look at your applications and notice all the Google applications like the market and the maps and Gmail and YouTube and stuff are all there. So yay! Here it is. So check out part 4 of my video and I'll be explaining how to install a theme onto this cool ROM. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later.